Hello, <laughs> welcome to part two, part two of the orientation. We're gonna be talking about equity now. Um, my internet is a little unstable, so just give me a thumbs down if I'm starting to break up. Um, so I just wanted to say that equity is where the ACE framework was actually born. I know it comes third. I can't remember if that's because of the acronym, you know, needing to line up or what. Um, but the way that I sort of first conceived of this framework way back when COVID was just taking hold was simply by listening to my students' concerns and hearing that almost none of them were about online learning with the exception occasionally of I can't get online. Um, so I felt like all the other things that we might be doing to make our courses COVID ready were sort of irrelevant if those things were only going to respond to the most um, sort of comfortable and privileged folks um, because so many people have the privilege of sort of going home to their Wi-Fi and being fully safe while other people who had lost their jobs were going to the grocery store to work more hours um, for the people who were home. Um, I'm gonna pick this phone up now, um, turn it over to Martha by telling you that I'm in Boston um, caring for my mom who's in the hospital and I can't go into the hospital because of COVID and it's sort of a nightmare. Uh, all of this is completely related <laughs> to what we're talking about right now um, because dealing with the ACE orientation fell way down my priority list. Um, I think, you know, she, she's not in, in um, the hospital for COVID, but I think it's important, number one, to see that all the ways I'm caring for her are challenged by COVID, um, but also that almost all of us are caregivers in some way of somebody and when you are a caregiver of somebody, um, even just yourself, those priorities usually come before things like online learning. Um, so wouldn't it be great, just like I knew in this community that it was gonna be totally fine if I had to deal with my mom, I didn't have a moment's worry because of Hannah and Martha and because I know all of you and because we've set a tone. So to me, this is all connected. Um, so I am going to mute. Um, call my mom back and uh, turn it over to Martha for the tour. Thanks, y'all. All right. I'm going to share my screen again um, and do a tour in, um, actually, let me just pull it up in my browser because it's a little tricky when it does this from Teams. Um, just do a tour of this week and then we can answer any questions people have. Um, so, Chrome. Hold on, didn't work for some reason. Let's see, are you seeing the workshop? Can I get a thumbs up if you're seeing the workshop? Yeah. Perfect, all right, so we're just gonna go into week three. Um, this is our equity week, and by now, the structure of the week should be super familiar just to keep you on your toes. Next week, it all changes, because next week is totally different, because we're not working with one of the values. Next week, we're wrapping things up, but we have drop-in hours, always 8.30 to 9.30 in the morning. We'll be here, um, and you can just drop in, ask us questions about ACE, about the logistics, about the content, about your courses. Um, if for some reason that doesn't work, you can always make an appointment with us on the CoLab website. Something fun this week, I think Hannah and Robin cooked this up, uh, this Padlet, for people to share their favorite pet or plant, since we've been having a lot of fun in chat, in various places, um, sharing pets, but we didn't want to leave people out if they're not, not pet people. Um, for Get Out of Town this week, a couple of things to look at. Both of these are asynchronous. They're both press books, um, which are just kind of tech books, essentially, that live online um, in an open platform called Pressbook. 
One is very much focused on technology tools for teaching. The other one is really about um, a little bit more like about course development and being prepared for online teaching. They both come from faculty at two different Canadian universities, um, Lethbridge, and I can't remember what group put together the first one, but great resources to take a look at in mine um, if that's something you're interested in. For this week in tech, Jason will be leading a session tomorrow, Tuesday, the 28th at 1 p.m. on using PSU Zoom room, uh, Zoom enabled rooms and owls. So we, a couple of people have been asking about that in the chat. So there'll be another opportunity to learn more about that during that session tomorrow. Um, some questions for learning cohorts this week. Make sure you've set up your one hour meeting. Um, and when you meet, here are some things to discuss, but of course, take let the conversation take you where you need it to go. Um, Monday is today, introduction day. This is what you were doing right now, watching this weekly orientation. Um, the week three checklist is at the bottom of this page. So you're gonna start just like with other weeks by looking at it and making notes of the things you wanna try and tackle. Again, focus on the things that are important to you. The checklist can be overwhelming. We are not expecting everybody to check every box. We are expecting you to use the checklist like a guide um, and pull out the pieces that resonate with you that seem particularly important to you, your courses and your students. Um, two reflection questions for today. There are channels in the discussion forum for you to share your thoughts about that. Tuesday and Wednesday are our practice days. So on Tuesday, we are looking at um, equity at the course level. So this is going to be about OER adoption and basic needs um, statements and basic needs information in your syllabus. Um, so some things to review, watch and read, um, optionally spend a little bit more time exploring those practice pages and then choose one of these activities to work on in your workbook. On Wednesday, we're looking at equity at the assignment level which has to do with UDL baselines, universal, universal design for learning, um, and rethinking the concept of fairness um, in terms of assignments and work in a class. Again, some things to watch and read um, and choose one. We've given you three different things that you can choose from this week um, for this practice, this set of practices. Thursday is our engagement day. Um, we have two different spaces that you can share thoughts in the discussion forum, um, including a bonus one about thinking about how students um, may be struggling with technology um, and referencing back to a session we did at Slipper Camp uh, that Robin led, Slipper Comp, Slipper Camp called When My Student Has No Internet. Um, you also could share um, on Twitter or submit something. That's where we get all those lovely submissions that we were talking about that have been um, appearing from all of you. So go ahead, submit an idea, a reflection example, an artifact, something you're thinking about doing this fall, or a question um, using the submit something buttons on all of the any of the practice pages. And then finally, on Friday, that's our wrap up day. Go back to your checklist, check in with what you need to. Um, reflect in your workbook, revisit the postings from other people, and then work for at least 30 minutes on whatever it is your heart desires in terms of preparing for the fall. Um, and with that, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And I think we will open this up for any questions about this week or about the ACE workshop or framework in general. Um, Jennifer asked in the chat where we can find the submitted the submissions from others. I think I'm going to share my screen again so I can show you this. So let me go back to um, the ACE framework and show you how you do this. So right now we're in the workshop here. Um, if I click back here to the framework, the main framework page, um, I can't tell if that's loading because there's so many things happening on my screen, but it looks like it is. Um, so this is the main framework page. These are all of our practices. So let's go back to flexible deadlines, which we did in week one. Um, and that's going to look familiar because you all looked at this two weeks ago, which probably seems like three and a half years ago, but it actually was only 14 days ago. Flexible deadlines. And on all of the practice pages, if you scroll down to the bottom, we have this section called revisit. So these are two things that were submitted. This is an online resource. Um, 
about writing a, an accessible policy for your syllabus, um, how, oh, on how to implement flexible designs in your courses. So how to write a statement for your syllabus about that. Um, Nathan shared um, a concern he has about flexibility in the actual, I don't, I haven't read all of these, so I'm literally summarizing these as I look at them. Um, <laughs> But you'll see a submission from Pete Miller, a submission from Marianne. Again, some of these are online resources. Some of these are just ideas that people have shared. All of these were submitted by just clicking on this button, submit something. And every practice page has one of those. As soon as you fill out this little form, it then, and refresh the page, it will then appear in the revisit section. And I will stop sharing now and go back to Zoom and see if we have any other questions. Questions, concerns, thoughts? I'm just gonna drop into the chat a um, sample. People were talking about sample statements. Uh, this is a really simple one that somebody shared on Twitter that um, is spurred by COVID. And it basically just says like your physical and mental health come first. Um, I thought it was elegant and to the point, so I stuck it in there. Um, we will be, I'm quite sure of it, updating our basic needs resource from the collab. Um, we just haven't gotten to it yet. And also we've been um, kind of just waiting to see the landscape, but I think um, that's something that we'll be able to get done before university days. So if you take a stab at one, but you like something that we put up there better, you could make a swap. Um, but we will try to do it. We, I think you've seen in the chat, we do have a pretty robust resource for creating basic needs statements, but it, it is pre-COVID. I had a question from one participant about whether or not um, Jason's session tomorrow will be recorded. Um, and it will be all of those tech sessions are recorded and added to the week page, the W-E-E-K page the page for that week. Um, so feel free to, if you can't make the session, you can go back and watch that recording. And did we already say that he's talking about the OWL and Zooms? Yeah. Yeah, yes. So lots of questions about that anyway. So people will find that useful. I think it's the perfect timing. Um, anything else? Yes, Jennifer. Sorry, I couldn't find the hand raising button. So no, I was in my um, Robin, I was wondering if you could uh, speak a little bit about what you were writing, I think in the general forum about um, some resources or what you were hoping people could help you with for university days. Oh, oh thank you for giving me the perfect opportunity to ask <laughs> for your help, especially from this group. Um, there are uh, two things that we could use help on, and there are links, but um, can you, Hannah, can you grab those um, solicitation links and put them in the chat? Um, so the first is um, we're doing a project that we hope will be somewhat of an archival project, but also a way of community building in university days, which is just about taking a look into our lives um, during remote teaching slash social distancing slash life in the pandemic. We want to call those by different words because some people may really not want to talk about their life in the pandemic, but you might be okay talking about remote work, for example. So however you want to interpret the prompt. But I think, unfortunately, we can't take video. Um, but other than that, we would love to have your still images, a, a poem, a um, paragraph. It could be very to the point, like here's what I did, or here or could be a shot of your desk where you worked. Um, anything like that that allows us to build kind of a um, tapestry to talk a little bit about what our lives look like at home. And that's gonna be the precursor to a project we're gonna undertake for the whole fall semester, um, maybe even the whole year which is gonna be what our lives are like at Plymouth. And I think these two things will be really lovely. Um, we're trying to keep university days from just being one big panic attack about how we have to 
deal with technology and teaching and whatever. Um, and just to remind ourselves that we are all human and that we can get to know each other a little bit. So if folks don't participate, it's not gonna work super well. So the first is, could you submit something, literally take five minutes and submit something for that project? Um, the second is that uh, another thing we wanna do on university days is have a social event at night, um, just for an hour where people are able to choose different um, virtual rooms where they go to hang out with colleagues. Now, some of those virtual rooms could be as much as like, um, like you know, Angie having a mojito room where you share your favorite um, mojito recipe and have a drink and chit chat for even just 20 minutes. Some people may wanna play an online game or have a discussion focused actually on a, um, a academic topic. You could have a um, affinity group or a identity category. So for example, um, queer faculty or faculty of color or whatever could um, create a room. So the other thing we need is for, we don't need a ton of people because we don't want everyone in their own room, um, but it would be really great if we had a whole bunch of rooms that people could choose from um, based on how they want to spend that that hour. So having really diverse things would be great. Um, you know, like people do not, I have figured out people do not like the same things. So what sounds hideous to someone else is great for another. So I thought that would be a really fun way um, to build some community in the evening. So anyway, um, we're also just with that one, we're going to be publishing the list of rooms with all the topics so people will get to choose where they where they go. So anyway, if you're willing, you can also pair up on this. We've you've seen some of that already happening where people are planning to run a room with a friend or something. Um, so by all means, uh, chat with each other if you're willing to do that. We haven't decided yet if we should post who's running the rooms. I think there's pros and cons. Like, should we just post a topic or also who's running the rooms? If you want to stick your vote in the chat, I would be really interested in whether you think it's, um, you know, I, I, I'm pretty much torn on that one, so. Yeah, I, I hadn't even thought about that question and now I'm torn. Yeah, the um, gardening one is a really great one. I, think. I also feel like there's probably, um, oh yeah, Hannah reminded us we should stop recording. Um.